I'm Liv, and welcome to the next portion of my epic lip product declutter, not really declutter, just organizing. Oh my gosh, I hope I managed to declutter some of this stuff. Oh, I'm really bad at this. Anyways, okay, so I guess I'm just showing you the stuff I have and occasionally getting rid of one or two things. All right, all right, all right, let's get on with it. Okay, oh my goodness, this is all my liquid lipstick and oh my gosh, clearly I need to cull this herd. I feel like I'm missing some things even. And you know what, I'm gonna start with those things. <laughs> so I probably have more, but I think I've wore them for stuff and like put them in little bags here and there. So the thing that I'm missing, that I know I'm missing is another one of these KVD, before it was KVD, I got on sale at Sephora. This is a really excellent color. If you can see, I can't even tell on my camera lenses. It's like a purple, goldy, beautiful liquid lipstick. It's really lovely. I'm of course keeping this and it was on a really good sale. So I have another color of these that I don't know where it is, but that's okay. So speaking of being on sale from Sephora, ooh, let's pick a bag for this. Okay, I know that we're gonna use more than one bag for this section, that's for sure. So speaking of being on sale from Sephora, let's gather all my Sephora liquid lipsticks. If you've watched my videos before, you know that I've mentioned I love these very much. Oh my goodness. So now even as I'm looking at these, I can see that I'm missing some. I'm absolutely missing some because this is the only red that I've found, but this is not the right red. This red is Mandarin Muse. It's like a bright orange red. My favorite red in this line is called Always Red. It's absolutely gorgeous. It must be in one of my bags somewhere. This red is a bit too orange for my skin tone. I'll still wear it, but uh, let's see if it shows up on my hand as being too orange. Put it next to the KVD. It's just, uh, it doesn't necessarily do the most flattering things for me. I don't know. I mean, I'm still gonna keep it for sure though. If you can see that there's one color that is very prevalent here, this is my favorite color in the history of time. If my lips could naturally be a color, this would be it. Let me see if this is it too. This shade is just a titch darker. It's not the same as this Radiant Orchid or Orchid, <laughs> Radiant Orchid. This is African Violet. African Violet from Sephora, it is just phenomenal. I got them on sale, I was in store and they had like a tub with them on sale. I don't really know why I bought so many, but, oh no, I do remember, the, the lady, the salesperson was like, oh, they're gonna uh, cancel this one, so they're not gonna make it anymore, and I freaked out because it is just the most gorgeous color. I, I mean, these are probably, I can't believe I bought so many backups, but who knows how quickly they go bad, but they're probably not great anymore. But this color, I just, I love it so much. This is such a difficult thing to get to focus, so you're gonna just have to deal with my blurry hand. But this is the kind of color that goes for the sort of look that I love often, <laughs> which is like pink lips and 2000s eyes, like, silver gray eyes and pink lips. I go with this a lot. I always get compliments when I wear this. I love it so much. I'm gonna keep wearing it as long as I can. I do have a lipstick version of this color too that I'll talk about in my next video. These ones I'm gonna put specifically in my backup bag. I don't actually know what this shade is. It's just a titch more mauve than that shade. It still smells okay. These lipsticks don't smell amazing. Uh, but they don't smell bad. They're just a really wonderful, wonderful formula. They stay forever and they're excellent. So this shade, I don't know, perhaps it's Radiant Orchid. No, it's not. I don't know what it is. I'm obviously gonna keep it. I'm gonna keep it in my to be used section. This looks like it's Radiant Orchid. It's a bit too deep for me. It's no African Violet. African Violet is absolutely perfect. Radiant Orchid is very good, but it takes my look to a different sort of place. I have a backup of it over here. I'm gonna put these both in my current bag so that I actually use them. I'm not sure, I think I have more of these or maybe I've used them, but this is uh, Polished Purple. It is a very, very dark purple. I've swatched it before. I think I was wearing it for a Halloween video. It's almost black, it's so dark, but it's really, it's pretty good. Oh, I'm missing a shade. Oh, I'm missing another shade. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Okay, blues and greens. Clearly I love these. 
Oh my goodness, there's no, I can't see a color on this light one, but I think it's called Sea Foam something. Then we have Audacious Emerald, which is in their metallics range. There's no name on this blue one either, but I got it at the same time as Sea Foam. As you can see, they're both mattes. Sea Foam and this one might be like Aqua something. They're, they're very different and they're very gorgeous. The only difficulty I have with these two is that my teeth look weird when I wear them. Like my teeth look quite yellowed. It's fine though. And then this deep shade, oh my gosh, I have no idea what it's called. There's no name on it. It's a very deep teal. We'll swatch these all. It's a beautiful deep teal. I love it. I love, I love all four of these, but my absolute favorite is this Audacious Emerald. It goes with my hair color really beautifully. And it's got just a gorgeous metallic sheen. I love the metallic liquid lipsticks. They're so good. I used to, or I do have other metallics. I have red ones and they are lost in bags. So this is literally the stuff I have in my collection right now. Do you have that problem too, where you like, you put your lipstick in a bag for a special occasion and then you forget to take it out and then you don't remember which bag it's in? I'm so bad with that. All right, so we have the sea foam. So far, I'm not decluttering anything, of course. Look at that sea foam. I mean, I just love it so much. Just don't wait for anything you're gonna smile for if you're my skin tone. And then this aqua one is, I actually saw someone wearing an aqua shade like this. I went to this event at the Science Museum here, the Museum of Nature and Science. They had like an IC event and you learned about different science and, and had cocktails and stuff and it was really, really fun and someone had that lipstick on. And so I got that color. This. Man, Sephora, why don't you put your colors on? I mean, you can go look at their line of liquid lip creams and, and probably surmise which one. This one is a weird color for my skin tone. As you can see, it looks really weird and kind of sallow on me, but it's nice to have. It really is nice to have. This pink, I always want to be able to wear a pink. Is the shade actually on here? No, of course it's not. It's a bright pink though. It also doesn't look too fab on my skin tone, but all of these are okay if you're going for a theatrical look. These ones over here on the top row, let's try a point. I can wear those for just a normal makeup look and then everything below it has to be sort of theatrical because they don't look too good on my skin tone. Speaking of not looking good, <laughs> this was optimistic. This is peach tart. I was trying for a sort of a peachy nude shade and it just looks awful on me. I mean, I think it looks kind of interesting on my hand, but it looks awful on my lips. I'm gonna keep it though, because of theatrical stuff. Gosh, I'm the worst. <laughs> All right, let's watch this Mandarin Muse here. Uh, the a bit too orange red for me. Oh wait, I swatched it over there, so we got doubles, but it's okay. And then this shade has no name. It's slightly more peachy, a little lighter than Mandarin Muse, but it's very similar in that it's like, oh, it's broken. Still smells good, I'm gonna keep it. it. I mean, it looks virtually identical to Mandarin Muse, but it's just a little bit brighter. Also, it doesn't look amazing on my skin tone. Okay, I'm gonna grab immediately something that I'm gonna get rid of. If you watch any of the other declutter <laughs> collection videos, you might've noticed that I don't like notoriously morbid lip products. I did their subscription box for a while. You can see that their stuff separates which they say it's gonna do. They say it's gonna separate and you have to shake it up, but uh, it's still a very watery sort of thing. And if you knock over this tube, it's going everywhere, trust me. Like, it's just, oh, it's, it's awful. And the texture, the texture is really unpleasant. There's just, there's very little enjoyable about it. Let's see if the color is nice. I mean, the color is interesting. It's like a slightly metallic bronze brown, but I'm gonna toss this even. It's, it's not my preferred formula. Look at me, I got rid of one thing. Let's just grab the random one over here. This is a MAC lip. This is the retro lip color in the shade Quite the Standout. I really do enjoy MAC lip products, and this was back when I was getting into liquid lipsticks more. And I wanted a beautiful red lip and I just didn't know that orange red didn't look great on me. I mean, 
aren't, I, I don't know, there's just something about this shade that doesn't look great on me, but Always Red does have a bit of orange in it. That's the, the Sephora liquid lipstick that I think looks great, but there's just something different about it. Like it's too, this is too light. It's too, too close to my skin tone. I don't know. So it's, it's a very nice formula. It's quite bulletproof and it's not as nice as the Sephora liquid lip, uh, but it's very similar to that Mandarin Muse right there. I would actually say they're a dupe for each other. Mandarin Muse and Quite the Standout by MAC look identical to me, absolutely identical. I'm gonna keep it because my dad got it for me. <laughs> Let's look at another thing that I'm certainly gonna get rid of. I just got this in a lip monthly. This is the Bella Pierre Lip Cream. I tried it again. I tried to like it and I wore it for hours. It's a nightmare. It sticks your lips together no matter what and it comes off patchy like chunks of ugh, grossness. This color is absolutely gorgeous but the formula is disgusting. It's horrendous. Getting rid of it. This is by The Cream Shop. I purchased this in California just thinking that it was like a local brand, I think it is made in LA, but not not actually sure. Anyways, it's, I, I was sort of aiming for my African Violet shade by Sephora and it's somewhat similar, but just the formula is a little thinner. It's not quite as enjoyable and it's slightly more muted. Like the African Violet shade just has a gorgeous pop to it. There's something about this one that isn't quite the same. And the shade is called Mauve Over, which is cute. I'm gonna keep it because there's nothing wrong with it and it is in my favorite sort of color tone range, but I need to use it more. The Estate, I think this is a liquid lipstick. Yeah, okay, so let's watch this. I got this in Ipsy. I'm applying it right now and it actually doesn't feel too bad. I don't remember this. I don't think it stood out to me and I was gonna get rid of it, but looking at it, this is one of the more like traditionally wearable shades in my whole collection. <laughs> so I think I'm gonna keep it because I don't have a ton of these shades or I guess I do. So I'll put it to the side and once we go through all of them, we can see which one stands out. So let's pick those then. What we have here is the Appeal Ultra Liquid Lipstick, whatever. I got this also in Lip Monthly. The Estate one is feeling sticky. The Appeal one feels better. I don't remember them. <laughs> I feel like the Appeal just overtook the Estate. So let's swatch the Appeal. That is a very similar sort of nudie shade. I kind of like that. I quite like that. Okay, then this is very, very old. Back when I got Lipstick Junkie. It's by Alex and Anne. It's another neutral. Actually, is that a gloss? I can't tell if this is a lip gloss or a liquid lipstick. If it's a gloss, it's very, very pigmented. It's so very, very old that I'm gonna get rid of it though. Okay. <laughs> NYX Lip Lingerie. I'd heard so many good things about this stuff and I heard really good things about this shade. This is French made. I look dead with this. It's horrendous. I guess I just don't have the skin tone for this. And it's funny because I watch YouTube videos and I'm like, oh, we totally have the same skin tone, don't we? And then I try something, I'm like, nope. Doesn't look that crazy on my skin, but when I wear it, it's just, it's not good. And I don't think the formula is good. Oh, that's right. This is state thing. It says it's a wet matte and I don't think I like that. I'm gonna get rid of it. I don't want my matte liquid lipsticks to stay sticky or wet. I like them to dry down and that's it. Okay, I'm gonna try this NYX lip lingerie quickly. I don't know, that doesn't feel as bad as I remember. That doesn't feel bad at all. What am I remembering? It's not so bad, I'm gonna keep it. Okay, on the realm of NYX. So that liquid lingerie thing, for some reason I didn't like, but what I love deeply is liquid catsuit. And I thought I had more colors. I do actually, but they're in bags somewhere. So what we have here is Coral Corruption, which is a lovely liquid coral lipstick. And we have Pink Really Hard, which is a beautiful pinky nude for me. And then there's this one that's like Rebel Rose, I think. That is my favorite and I don't see it anywhere. So it's gotta be in a bag. 
It's gotta be in a bag somewhere. Rebel Rose, I think it was, is just the absolute perfect nude for my skin tone. I'm like a Tarte 22N, uh, Elf Sand. I, I pretty much only wear Elf, but anyways. And then this is a metallic one that I got. It's not actually great, but man, I have other shades of this somewhere around too. Gosh, I'm bad at keeping track of this stuff. So can you see what I mean? It's like, it doesn't stand out super well. It's not the silveriest thing. Uh, it's fine, it's just fine, but it's not as silvery as I thought it was gonna be. Then we have Pink Really Hard, just perfect. That's, it's one of my favorite pinky nudes. I'd, I'd say my favorite pinky nude. And then this Coral one is, is tough. It's a little bit too Coraly light for my skin tone. Uh, you know, in the realm of those reds that don't work really well, but it's it's just wearable, just about, and it, that's just fine. The formula of Liquid Catsuit is phenomenal, though. I'm wearing the lip lingerie right now, and I do feel the difference. Like it's a little a little bit thicker, and that kind of takes away some of the enjoyment. Here we have a Laritzy liquid lipstick. It's just fine. It's nothing spectacular. It's a good wearable nudie shade like a deep nude. Stila, now this one I found when I was going through the lipstick collection and it's kind of like a metallic-y peachy rose. The shade is called Patina Shimmer and I'm, I'm super surprised. I don't think I've ever really worn this. I think it looks quite lovely. You can see that it's metallic. So I'm gonna put this in my like regular rotations sort of thing. And maybe that's a separate bag that I'll make, but that seems quite beautiful. Here we have Ciate London Glitter Flip. I actually have other colors of this, I think, but I got this because I love the Urban Decay top coat, which we'll talk about in a second. The thing with a glitter flip is that you put this on your lips and then you press your lips together and then the glitter is exposed the more you press your lips together. There's just something about it that's not as complex. The glitter is quite simplistic, like almost, let me see if I can fade it out a bit. It's almost like just silver got poured in there and if you press it, then the silver peeks out. I'm not sure if you can see any of that, but it's a it's a nice enough formula. I wouldn't get it if you want just a crazy bright lip though, or a crazy glittery lip. Okay, Urban Decay Top Coats. I have a problem with these, okay? I love these so much. I got married in Reverb. Was it Reverb? Yes, it was Reverb. I got married in Reverb and I wore it on top of African Violet, so that shade over there. It just absolutely gorgeous. I love the Urban Decay top coats so much and they go bad very quickly, I've discovered. I mean, I guess lipstick does in general, but I tried to stock up on these because I can't remember if they were gonna stop selling them or what it was, but this one, uh, not separating, it, like, it gets liquid and viscous, so I'm gonna throw it away, which is so, it's so sad to me. I've been, I've been, <laughs> I've been married for a while, so one of these is very, very old. They're just absolutely gorgeous. I don't know, man, maybe I could try, like if they don't stink. I'm gonna throw one away, I'll throw one away. And here I have, duh, what shade is this? This is the, the shade Regulate, which is more of a silver. The other one is like a multi-chrome purple gold. And so the silver one is quite more simplistic. Have a good sniff of this. It smells okay, actually. I have already thrown out a couple of these that smell just awful though. Like this one looks bad. This is a, I'm not sure what the shade is. It's one of the green ones. It's absolutely gorgeous. It's one of my newer ones and it went bad faster than any of the others. So I'm gonna get rid of it. This is a gold one called Third Degree. It's just lovely. I like to have variety and have different tones that I can use for top coats. These top coats stay beautifully. This one smells okay and it still feels goopy. So that's all right. And then this is their Vice Liquid Lipstick, which is sort of like a combination of a top coat and a liquid lipstick. I was disappointed because that sort of takes the magic away. Let's have a sniff, smells okay, and go over there. So it just turns into a metallic liquid lipstick, which is less phenomenal. Not sure how well you can see these top coats. Hopefully you can see this. So the top coats are just phenomenal. They're really beautiful, multi-chromatic, gorgeous. And then the Vice Liquid Lipstick is just a slightly metallic liquid lipstick. So look at all these colors. 
I'm gonna keep this Vice Liquid Lipstick though, uh, because it's not bad. This is a matte liquid lipstick from Notoriously Morbid, and it's one of my few blacks. I have another black liquid lipstick by Apocalyptic Beauty somewhere, but I don't know where it is, of course. This one is actually okay. The formula is different to that other whatever the hell that thing was. This, here's another one of them. It's called the liquid lipstick, so I don't understand why this black one is different. I don't think it's because it's black and you can't see. There's just, it's different. You saw I could pull it out and put it on straight away. It's just fine. And it's actually a shimmery black. This one, however, is that same liquidy formula that I wish I could demo and just pour this on the table, but I don't want to make a mess. It's just, oh, it's, it's horrible. It's horrible and liquidy. The formula feels gross. I'm getting rid of it. Here's a Smashbox liquid lipstick in the shade Driver's Seat. I don't know why this never really stood out to me. I think I got it as a sample at Sephora. It feels very dry. Goodness, I have a lot of liquid lipstick. Yeah, can you see how dry and chunky that formula is? It's just, it's very dry and chunky. I never particularly enjoyed it. I think I'm gonna get rid of it. Yeah, they say it's always on liquid lipstick, but I can also see all my hand wrinkles through it, which is weird. I don't really want that on my mouth. Okay, I should have probably done all the Stila together. There was only one other. These are Stila liquid lipsticks. They're just fine, uh, but they're very equal to the Sephora liquid lipstick, in my opinion. Let's put it, oh my gosh, over there. So it's, this one reminds me of the um, Radiant Orchid, I think it was. The shade over here. Very similar shade. I don't know what these cost, but I know that the Sephora ones go on sale a lot, so I definitely wouldn't pay a lot. And this is in the shade Aria. I will keep it though. <laughs> and where did it work? This is a pink one in the shade Bella. I've had this for a very long time, and it reminds me of that Sephora pink that I had that was just fine. This actually feels as dry as the Smashbox. I'm just gonna say that it's bad and get rid of it. In the realm of pink, let's, let's look at this. I got this free with purchase. This is a Sigma pink liquid lipstick. I think the color is called Top That. My goodness, this is actually a really excellent formula. The color is phenomenal. It doesn't look great on my skin tone, but I don't mind because I just love the color so much. It's so bubblegum pink. And the formula really is good. It's good. It's actually maybe even a teensy bit better than the Sephora liquid lip. Better or equal. There's just, it's, it's a very enjoyable formula. The application is nice. The tube is very clean. It's good and it wears well. That's the only shade that I've tried. This is a KVD liquid lipstick in the shade K-Dub. This was an old one. This just really reminds me of my African Violet. Yeah, I mean, very similar. It's like a mixture of African Violet and a little more pink. I'll keep it around, wear it during work. This is a NARS Power Matte in the shade American Woman. I don't know what it, ooh, is it powder matte? I'm assuming. Power Matte, okay. It was obviously a little sample. I didn't like this formula. I found it really drying. Oh my God. Oh. Let's just wipe you up there. Okay, so that one's definitely gone. I don't know, I'm assuming that's because it's old, but I didn't like it anyways. Let's get this one out of the way. This is, I don't know why this is here. This is in the wrong section. But anyways, this is the e.l.f. Lip Primer and Lip Plumper. I never use this stuff. Like one is a lip plumper that gets a little tingly and one is a primer, which is like a lighter shade that sort of neutralizes your lips. It's sort of like when you put foundation on your lips a little bit, which I kind of like to do myself. So you know what? I feel like I should use this more just for fun. I don't think it actually does much, but it's just fun. I'm gonna put this in my therapeutic section. Apocalyptic Beauty. These guys are really good at lipstick. Uh, liquid lipstick is pretty much all I've gotten from them. This is fantastic. The shade is She Devil. It is a more, no, not a more, like a grayish purple, but it's not so gray that my skin tone looks bad. I think that that was the NYX lip lingerie. I'm not sure I think so, but it's similarly gray to whatever that is, but it has a shimmer in it. 
and it's a little bit lighter. It's just, there's something really magical about it and there's a lot of glitter in it. It doesn't look like it, but I promise there is. This is sort of my perfect gray lipstick. If you have a skin tone like me, I'm, I'm not really sure what my skin tone is, but it's like yellowy, a bit golden, a bit very neutral, maybe a little peachy, not much red in it. I just, I feel like I have a weird skin tone. Like you can see my hands are yellow. I don't know if they look like that there, but anyways. So I've always wanted to find my gray lipstick, you know, the kind of grayish lipstick I can wear. This one is excellent and it is quite deep and it's very, very sparkly. Here are a couple little lipsticks that I have of theirs. This is Velvet Darkness liquid lipstick. Maybe it's the same big size that I have because I have a larger one somewhere. It's a really excellent black. Look how black that is compared to the Notoriously Morbid. I mean, they look somewhat the same, but I can tell. Really doesn't like focusing. <laughs> Maybe having a textured tabletop was a bad idea. Anyways, I think Apocalyptic Beauty out of all the indie spaces have the best lip products that I've seen. This is another liquid lipstick in the shade Mojo. This also has shimmer in it and it's just gorgeous. It's a very neutral shade for me, like a sort of a peachy neutral. What do I call that peachy? Yeah, yeah, like RNG peachy, I don't know. But it also has glitter in it. It's really lovely. They just, they have this excellent formula. This is Diva Lacquer. It's from back when I did Lipstick Junkie. This says it's a high gloss, so this is totally in the wrong section. But let's have a look at it. Huh, it actually smells okay. I'm actually gonna keep this, it looks quite nice. It's like a metallic, bronzy, reddy gloss. We'll move that to the gloss section. Another one from my lipstick junkie days. This one is like a metallic copper by the brand Alex and Beauty. The shade is Wicked. I have no idea who they are, but I don't have a color like this really, and I'm gonna keep it. The formula is just fine. It's just fine, and it's a, a really interesting shade. This little thing is a Lush Slip Stain by Deuce. I got this recently, I believe. I think it was Lip Monthly, I can't recall, but it's very similar to these neutral shades. You know what, when I turn my lip, my liquid lipstick upside down, I would like it not to pour out. So maybe that's my test. <laughs> if it pours out, I get rid of it. This is a fine shade, I'm gonna keep it. Anastasia Beverly Hills, this made no impression on me. I don't know why. The shade is Bohemian Liquid Lipstick and it looks very much like that disgusting Bella Pierre shade. So I'm gonna try wear this because that is a shade that I'm crushing on, that deep crimson. That's quite gorgeous, and I can't remember anything about this formula, so I'm gonna keep it. NYX Liquid Lipstick. This is a liquid uh, suede. This is a very thick, goopy lipstick. It stays on really well. This was back when I didn't know a lot of brands and it was just like, ooh, there's a little gem and it's the shade I wanted. I don't know why. <laughs> we were literally visiting family in California and I felt like getting a navy lip. I, I just got this urge. So it's a really beautiful navy lipstick. Like a, a deep true blue to almost navy. It's excellent. The formula is good. Uh, I don't know if I get a lot of colors in it, but it's just a little bit thick. A little thick, but it is very good for a bright, deep lip color that's not very traditional. This is back from Lipstick Junkie. The brand is Anise. The shade is very violet. It looks unique. It smells like nothing. I don't remember this at all. It is very violet. I am gonna try it. I'm gonna have to try it. It might be too dark for me, but we'll give it a shot. This is Unicorn Lippy. This was, I think I had this in my lip gloss and I thought that it was a gloss, but it was a liquid lipstick. I'm gonna keep it. It's actually quite unique in being like a lighter peachy shimmery shade. And I've saved the best for last. This is Give Them Lala. I just got this in Lipstick Monthly. I'm shocked. The formula is phenomenal. I absolutely love this. It's like what I would think of as a powder kiss. Matte lipstick in the shade. That's right, we don't know. It says shade, I don't know. It's not my ultimate shade. It's kind of a neutral for me. It's a sort of a light peachy neutral, but the formula is better than anything I have. I promise you this is better than my Sephora even. I mean, however the Sephora, look how many colors we have in that. It's ridiculous. I love my hand right now. 
That looks pretty tight. I think I need this as a thumbnail. <laughs> and on that note, let's go back up. Okay, wow, I've gotten rid of a couple things, but really I just feel like I need to have all my good stuff accessible so I can wear it every day, all day. <laughs> I guess I like lip product. Anyways, that was liquid lipstick. I cannot believe how many swatches I have in my hand. I'm gonna have to clean it now. If you like this video, if you have any of the lipsticks that I talked about or any of the ones that I decluttered, which I know wasn't a lot, please let me know your thoughts down below. <laughs> If you have a favorite, let me know too, because clearly I have a slight problem with lipstick stuff. And don't forget to check out my next video, which is going to be the final video in this series, actual lipstick, traditional bullet lipstick, and maybe an additional declutter on top of that. Wherever you are, I hope you're having the best day that you possibly can. Be kind to the people around you. And thanks for hanging out.